Not since 1973 of the first five races of a Trans Am season had five different winners. You can rest assured none of these five men want to see that string stretch to six. Today, the sound of tourists driving through the lush and rustic Connecticut countryside are replaced by some of the most definitive sounds of motorsports. 640 horsepower V8s rumbling around Lime Rock Park in the Berkshires in a 180 mile an hour game of King of the Mountain. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Joy. Delighted to be here for this Memorial Day celebration of speed. In just a few minutes, even the trout in the Housatonic River will feel the vibration and the rumble of the V8-powered Trans Am cars. Last year, Ron Fellows going down the downhill, the fastest corner here, had this rather spectacular crash. It also happens to be a very important corner because it leads on to the long front straightaway, at the end of which is Turn 1, or Big Bend, as it's known around here. And the Big Bend is very important because that's where you're going to see most of the overtaking into Big Bend this afternoon. And this whole complex, Big Bend turns into Turn turn two and then into three and this is the one place where the drivers can really get up a good rhythm and as I said earlier you're going to see most of the overtaking into turn one with some people maybe sneaking by on the way into turn two. So on board we'll be with Tommy Kendall this afternoon who's got the highest percentage of wins to start in this series. There you see him on board. He's going to have his work coming out, coming up from uh, fourth spot. And Dorsey will be starting from the front row, a man with more experience here than probably anyone else. Ready to roll at Lime Rock Park. As you said, Sam, of course, Dorsey straight is probably the most experienced driver here going into this very important big bend squeeze hard there by Ron Fellows behind him and Greg Pickett on the outside. Now you see Jamie Gallus back there in 11th spot. Into the only left-hand corner on this circuit. It is the slowest turn of Lime Rock Park. And you need to stay way left to get a jump to the back straightaway. It's not really a straightaway. That's zig and then zag. Two corners uh, along what is now called No Name Straightaway. End of the climbing turn. The climbing turn, very tricky. The front of these cars coming off the road. Some of the axle on the front wheels actually losing contact. Through West Bend there with Dorsey straight to the far corner of the hill. The second far corner the hill. Down to the downhill. This is a real gut wrencher. Far downhill, swooping. You've got to make a good apex, otherwise you'll be right out on that gravel on the left. And of course, you need to make a really good exit out of there to get down this straightaway, which Jamie Gars is trying to do to get around. I think that's Saunders, Bill Saunders in one of the uh, Highway Master cars. Jamie Gallus has got to move up fast. He's leading the championship, but only slightly over Dorsey Schrader. Dorsey, of course, has a clear track in front of him. And uh, Jamie Gallus, you see him right there uh, coming through uh, the left-hander, is in trouble. I mean, he's going to have to move up fast. And right in front of him is Scott Sharp. Ron Fellows has got a round break picket in the yellow car, in the number six car, Ron Fellows in that gorgeous Sunoco car, right behind Dorsey Schrader as they go up the climbing turn. Ron Fellows really needs to win this race. Fellows, of course, who had a great start to the season at St. Petersburg, but has not had any luck since then and had a big crash in the turn that they are about to go through right now last year. On board there from over there, you see Brian Simo in one of the Tom Gloy cars. Ron Fellows trying to go around the outside of uh, Dorsey Strait at Big Bend. I... Sam, is that the toughest way to pass here on the outside of Big Bend? I tell you, it's tough uh, everywhere here, Mike, now. The track with these very, very fast, wide cars feels narrower than it ever has. And it, it's, a, it's a treacherous track. It's more like a mile oval in many ways where momentum counts as much as anything. Sam would know about momentum. Formula V once was SCCA's most popular class. Little overshoe-looking cars on skinny tires. Sam was the first man to ever drive one in top gear with his foot on the floor all the way around this place. Something that for years, folks said could never be done. I didn't think it could be done either. <laughs> <laughs> but did it. There Down the hill. That front, front bunch very, very closely bunched up as we go back to Brian Simo just behind Boris said, Boris said in that all white number 14, he of course was the fastest qualifier, had to start back in fifth, a tremendous disadvantage here with that inverted start, but it really has uh, made...